In this video, let us look into another transformation of the general equation of the straight line, uh, only in this case that we are going to transform it to the normal form. So we know that the general equation of the straight line is given by ax plus uh, by plus c equal to 0. And uh, we have the normal form um, as x cos of alpha plus y sine of alpha equals p. Uh, and you know, I'm sure you know what is alpha and p. Well, for those who don't, uh, alpha is the angle that the perpendicular line uh, makes with the x-axis and p is the length of the perpendicular line. I mean, perpendicular line to the straight line whose equation we are, uh, we are talking about. So that is what is p. But if you actually take a closer look, it is almost the same. You know, we have, uh, I mean, both of them represent the same. We just have to write it as x cos alpha plus y sine alpha minus p equals 0. We've got a is cos alpha, b is sine alpha, and c is p. That's all is the difference. But otherwise, the form is the same. So what we can do since it is like that is we can write a by cos alpha equals b by sine alpha equals c divided by minus p, right? So now equating uh, a by cos alpha to c by negative p and b by sine alpha to c by negative p, what we get is we get uh, cos alpha equal to minus ap divided by c and sine alpha is equal to minus bp divided by c. So now what we'll do next step is we will just add cos square we just square and add them so it becomes cos square alpha plus sine square alpha equal to a square p square divided by c square plus b square p square divided by c square and we also know that sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 so 1 equals and 1 equals this one but in this one you know you can take out you can factor out p square by c square so factoring p square by c square, all we're left out with is uh, a square plus b square, right? So 1 equals p square by c square times a square plus b square. Uh, from this, what we can do is we can uh, find p. So yeah, we can find p where uh, p equals uh, p equals the square root of the entire, the rest of the thing. Okay, first of all, let's write p square equal to c square divided by a square plus b square. So p will be equal to square root or plus or minus of square root of c square by a square plus b square. Simplifying it, we get uh, p equals uh, plus or minus uh, square root of c square is just c divided by square root of a square plus b square, all right? But uh, p denotes what? p denotes the perpendicular distance, right? The length of the perpendicular line to the straight line. So what if the I mean the length is nothing but the distance distance can only be positive it cannot be negative therefore we can write p equals plus c by root of a square plus b square okay the reason we have found out p is because we need to write this you know we need to uh, transform the general equation to the normal form so we've got the value of p the next step is the next step is substituting the value of p in these okay so we get cos alpha equal to minus a by c times c divided by root of a square plus b square and similarly we need to substitute this in sine alpha as well in this one so when we substitute in cos alpha and sine alpha what we get is c and c gets cancelled so we have cos alpha equal to minus of a divided by square root of a square plus b square and we have sine alpha is equal to minus of b divided by square root of a square plus b square. So now we found the values of cos alpha and sine alpha. We just have to substitute the values of sine alpha and cos alpha in this equation here. So now that we found the values of cos alpha and sine alpha, let us substitute the values of cos alpha and sine alpha in this equation, which is x cos alpha plus y sine alpha minus p equal to 0. So we get... Uh, minus a divided by square root of a square plus b square times x minus b divided by square root of a square plus b square times y and minus p. What's the value of p? p is uh, c divided by square root of a square plus b square equal to 0. All right. Or you can write this and then push c divided by square root of a square plus b square uh, to the right hand side just like this equation. But both of them works. 
So this is the required normal form of the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So this is the transformation of the general equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0 to the normal form which is minus a divided by square root of a square plus b square times x minus b divided by square root of a square plus b square times y minus c divided by square root of a square plus b squared equal to 0. All right, so that is the transformation of general equation of a straight line to the normal form and that uh, ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos uh, with uh, more concepts based on the straight lines. Thank you.